I'm Richard Hollingham, and this time in the Planet Earth podcast, what lessons can be learnt for the future from the devastating storms that hit the southwest coast of England this winter? I'm on the beach at Tor Cross, which is midway along the South Devon coast between Torquay and Plymouth, and it's a vast stretch of gravelly beach with rocky headlands at each end. Pretty calm sea, as you can probably hear in the background, and then behind me, the road and the village of Tor Cross, which is only metres, really, from the waves. And I'm here to meet a team from Plymouth University, assessing the impacts of the year's winter storms on the coast and the people who live there. Storms that flooded homes, businesses and severed the main railway line. I'm joined on the beach here by Gerd Masselink, who's leading the study, and Paul Russell. Now, Paul, you're surveying all these beaches and you have the survey equipment in your hand, which best described probably as a broomstick with a plate on top and then uh, an instrument halfway along which looks a bit like a, a GPS receiver that yeah. sort of thing bolted to the middle yeah so, yeah, so it's just it's a, it's a GPS survey of, of the beach so we're, we're doing it to see the height of the beach the GPS gives you a, a point in both time and space and then you're measuring the height of that point and we do that at repeated intervals, approximately monthly, all the way around the coast of the southwest, and therefore we can see whether the beaches are eroding in response to the storms and also how they recover over the coming months and even years. So you're taking really the, these transects of the beach at, at particular points and you're doing that again and again, feeding it into some sort of computer program and getting a profile of how it's changing. Yeah, that's exactly right. So we can work out the volumes of changes of both erosion and accretion. And the reason to do this, Gerd, is to look at the impact of, of what's happening, both on the landscape but also on the communities that live here. Yeah, we, we, obviously the uh, coastal communities are affected by, by beach erosion and it's, it's all nice to just only look at the physical environment and, and quantify the impacts in terms of losses of sand and gravel and cliff erosion. But the, the real impacts are obviously felt by the coastal communities. One of the questions that we sort of asking or addressing is how sustainable are some of these coastal communities? If we are measuring at certain sites that villages are right on, on the edge of the, of the shoreline and are so vulnerable to these extreme storm events, I mean, what's going to happen to these communities in the next 10, 20, 30, 40 years? So it's, it's about vulnerability and also resilience, the, the, the ability of the, those coastal communities to bounce back from events like this that we're also looking at. So it's not only looking at natural processes, but it's also looking at the human impacts. 